nth root of unity so another important concept from the complex numbers especially from de Moivre's theorem that is the finding the nth root of a unity okay so let consider we are assuming it is as a complex number z is given by nth root of unity that means nth root of unity which is nothing but we can write this is as 1 power 1 by n okay 1 power 1 by n so how to find out the roots of this unity so we know that one can be written as so one can be written as in the polar form as so here z is equals to one is the complex number and we are finding the nth root of that unity so here and one can be written as cos zero plus iota times of sine zero okay cos zero plus iota times of sine zero whole power one by n okay whole power one by n and here the modulus is r equals to one only okay r, r equals to one if we consider the organ plane okay if we consider the organ plane and the real and imaginary part okay real and imaginary of the complex numbers here the complex number is considered as a one okay so here we are getting the one over here now if we move with some angle okay again the modulus over here it is one only okay again the complex number having z is equals to one modulus one with some angle okay now if it is with the unit circle if the same modulus if it is moving around the way so next for the 360 degrees okay next for the 360 degrees we will get the same value and if it is moving again another round okay it is in another round for the next 360 degrees we will get the same value so that means so whatever the value we are obtaining over here z is equals to 1 okay having n times okay it has to be obtained nth root that means n root nth root having n roots okay it must be rotated and for every multiple of 360 degrees the same value is obtaining so we can generalize this which is equals to cos okay for every 360 multiple of 360 so we can write it as 2 pi times of k okay for every k is the multiple factor over here for every multiple of 360 360 expressed as 2 pi plus 0 degrees so we will obtain the same values okay for every 0 degrees cos 0 is 1 for 360 degrees next it is rotated k is equals to 1 so 2 pi plus 0 360 cos 360 is also 1 so now we can generalize this as i times of sine okay i times of sine what is 2 pi k plus okay 2 pi k plus 0 degrees okay whole power 1 by n okay to find the nth root of a unity so we have to represent in the polar form okay the one has to be represent in the polar form next we need to generalize the okay we need to generalize okay we need to generalize the given what it is unity so for every 360 degrees we obtain the same value so we can write now apply the de Moivre's theorem so now here this can be written as what it is 2 k pi okay we can write in general it is 2 k pi plus 0 is simply it is 2k pi plus iota times of sine okay iota times of sine 2k pi power 1 by n okay now apply de Moivre's theorem now over here apply de Moivre's theorem what is de Moivre's theorem s cos theta plus i sine theta whole power n can be written as cos theta cos n theta plus i sin n theta so now here it is 1 by n okay 1 by n into 2 k pi then we can write this is as cos 2 k pi by n plus iota times of sin 2 k pi by n so now here we obtained what is nth root of 1 power 1 by n nth root of 
a unity we are obtain equals to cos 2 pi k by n plus iota times of 2 k pi by n where here what the k values has to be taken so initially k is equals to 0 next k is equals to 1 k is equals to 2 up to the n values has to be taken so it is starting with 0 means it has to be 0 1 2 and so on n values means up to n minus 1 the k values has to be taken then we will obtain the required condition so if k is equals to 0 what happens to this one okay now we are finding the roots if k is equals to 0 what we obtain z is equals to now it is nothing but z okay now we can write it as k is equals to 0 what it is cos 0 k is equal to 0 0 plus i sin 0 which is nothing but 1 okay now if k is equals to 1 then we obtain the nth root of the next root is what is k is equals to 1 we obtain this as cos 2 pi by n plus i times of sin 2 pi by n okay i times of sin 2 pi by n cos theta plus i sin theta in the exponential complex number can be written as e power i theta cos theta plus i sin theta can be written as e power i theta then we can write as e power i 2 pi by n okay now which is another root if k is equals to 0 we are obtaining the second root as this one so let's consider this root as some alpha okay right now if k is equals to 2 we will obtain the another root okay nth root having the n roots then we can get this is as cos k is equals to 2 4 pi by n plus i times of sine 4 pi by n okay plus i times of sine 4 pi by n which is equals to e power i times of 4 pi by n and can be written as e power i times of 2 pi by n whole square that means which is equals to alpha square okay which is equals to alpha square and if k is equals to 3 if k is equals to 3 direct time writing it as z is equals to cos 6 pi by n which is equals to e power i 6 pi by n and e power i 2 pi by n whole cube which is equals to we can write this as alpha cube so nth root of unity okay therefore the n roots okay nth root of unity have n roots the n roots of unity what are the n roots of unity the n roots of unity the first root is 1 second root is s alpha third root is alpha square and the next root is alpha cube and so on it will have n roots okay the k values has to be taken from 0 to just we discuss k value has to be taken from 0 to n minus 1 that means finally we obtain over here the nth root as alpha power n minus 1 is the nth root okay nth root of unity will have n roots the n roots are given by 1 alpha alpha square alpha cube alpha power 3 and alpha sorry alpha power 4 alpha power 5 alpha power 6 and so on up to alpha power n minus 1 where okay where alpha equals to e power iota times of 2 pi by n where alpha equals to e power iota times of 2 pi by n these are the n roots of the unity so this is the way of finding the n roots of the unity now we will discuss some properties of the roots of nth root of unity okay some properties of the roots of nth root of unity and we obtained the nth root of unities or what is at z is equals to we consider it as nth root of unity then we can summarize this as cos 2 k pi by n plus i sin 2 k pi by n okay so and this having the root size aware here the k equals to to be considered 
here the k equals to to be considered from 0 1 2 2 n minus 1 and we have the roots i's what we obtained 1 alpha alpha square and so on alpha power n minus 1 where alpha equals to e power iota times of 2 pi by n okay e power iota times of 2 pi by n now the first property we need to know is the sum of the nth roots of unity is 0 sum of nth root of unity is 0 so that means what are the roots here we obtain for the nth root of unity 1 alpha alpha square and al up to alpha power n minus 1 the sum of all these so that means 1 plus alpha plus alpha square plus alpha cube plus so on plus alpha power n minus 1 the sum of all the roots are 0 okay so he has given the statement as sum of all the roots as 0 okay right now we need to whether check for whether this the property is true or false let me go for the solution and we know that this series 1 alpha alpha square plus alpha cube and so on alpha power n minus 1 this series is in the form of what it is a geometric progression which is in the form of a geometric progression with a common ratio okay with a common ratio what is the common ratio here okay what is the common ratio alpha okay here the common ratio is alpha okay the common ratio with a common ratio is alpha where alpha equals to e power i times of 2 pi by n okay so if it is in the a finite series okay a finite series of uh, length n then the geometric progression a is equals to 1 and having a common ratio r we can write as a into 1 minus r power n by 1 minus r okay by applying this we can find out here the sum of this series okay sum of this series can be written as a is nothing but 1 into 1 minus r is nothing but alpha power n by 1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha now if we simplify this with this can be written as 1 minus where alpha equals to e power i times of 2 pi by n power n by okay by 1 minus e power i times of 2 pi by n okay 1 minus i times of 2 pi by n okay right if we simplify over here what will obtain 1 minus okay we obtain over here 1 minus e power and n and n will be cancelled out we'll get this is as e power iota times of 2 pi by 1 minus e power iota times of 2 pi by n okay so here if we consider over here 1 minus e power i theta can be written as cos 2 pi plus i times of sin 2 pi okay by 1 minus e power iota times of 2 pi by n so where here 1 minus and what this results cos 2 pi plus i times of sine 2 pi the resultant is integer multiple of sine always results to 0 for even multiple of pi okay integer multiple of pi the sine is 0 and for even multiple of pi cos is plus 1 for odd multiple of pi cos is minus 1 this is totally always it is 1 simply we can write this 1 minus 1 by 1 minus e power iota times of 2 pi by n and which is equals to 0 so we are obtaining that the sum of the n roots of the unity 1 plus alpha plus alpha square and so on alpha power n minus 1 the sum of n roots of unity is always 0 the important property sum of the n roots of unity okay some of the n roots are always zero okay next product of roots the next one is product of roots so the roots unity nth root of unity the roots are one and alpha 
alpha square alpha cube and so on alpha power n minus 1 the product some sometimes some others refers the root size uh, 1 omega omega square omega cube and omega power n minus 1 also okay these are the roots n roots uh, you can represent in any manner the representation some authors represent as alpha some others represents with omega no need to confuse okay and here we are representing with alpha the parameter alpha the roots are represented with the parameter alpha otherwise you can consider omega also so now here 1 into alpha into alpha square into alpha power n minus 1 now we know that a power x into a power y into a power z can be written as a power x plus y plus z now we can write this is as alpha power 1 can be written as alpha power 0 then alpha power 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on n minus 1 okay n minus 1 okay so now which is nothing but s what is 1 plus 2 plus 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus sum of n natural numbers okay sum of n natural numbers so we know that uh, sum of n natural if it is 1 plus n natural numbers up to n we can write the sum as n into n plus 1 by 2 but here n is replaced by n minus 1 now replace over here n is replaced by n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 okay just replace n by n minus 1 then you will obtain that this is equals to n into n minus 1 by 2 okay so we know that sum of first n natural numbers up to n 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n it is n into n plus 1 by 2 but we are having up to n minus 1 sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers as n into n minus 1 by 2 okay we can write this power as alpha power n into n minus 1 by 2 but we know that what is alpha alpha equals to e power iota times of 2 pi by n okay power n into n minus 1 by 2 okay n into n minus 1 by 2 then we can find out over here it is if we simplify we can write this is as e power iota times of 2 pi by n into n into n minus 1 by 2 n and n will get cancelled out 2 and 2 gets cancelled out and here we obtain simply the product of roots n roots okay the product of n roots of nth root of unity is e power iota times of pi times of n minus 1 okay product of the root size e power iota times of pi into n minus 1 and here depending on the value of n we will obtain the product of the roots okay and what we can write this is as the product of the roots e power i theta can be written as e power i theta equals to cos theta plus i times of sin theta then we can write this is as cos of pi times of n minus 1 plus i times of sine of pi minus n minus 1 okay so now here the product depends on the n okay here the product depends on n if n is even or n is odd let's consider the n is odd okay if n is odd what will obtain over here it is uh, cos for example n is equals to 3 so if n is equals to 3 we obtain this as cos 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi if n is equals to pi cos 4 pi plus i sine 4 pi so if n is an odd we are getting it is as even multiple of cos pi plus i sine pi okay now let for example n is odd means we are assuming n is equals to 3 then we can write this is as product of the root size cos 2 pi plus iota times of sine 2 pi okay n is odd we are assuming 3 and whatever the number 3 5 7 and if you consider it is even multiple of pi okay the even multiple of cos pi is 1 whereas the integer multiple of sine pi is 
0 then the resultant equals to 1 okay the resultant equals to 1 then the product of the roots equals to if n is 1 the product of the roots equals to 1 now if n is even okay if n is even let n is equals to 2 okay n is equals to 2 then what we'll get over here cos pi plus i times of sin pi okay if n is equals to 4 3 pi plus i sin 3 pi so that means here we get odd multiples of pi for integer multiples of sign the pi the sign is 0 but for odd multiples of pi cos is minus 1 then we can write this is as minus 1 then the product of the roots of nth root of unity is minus 1 okay that is depends on the n okay generally the product of the roots are written as e power iota times of pi of n minus 1 pi into n minus 1 if n is odd the product is 1 and if n is even the product is minus 1 so the next point is n roots of the unity nth root of unity having the n roots the all the n roots or the unity lies on the unit circle okay that is formed by the mod of complex number z is equals to 1 okay why because we are considering the complex number as 1 then the nth root of the modulus of the complex number is 1 always lies on the unit circle okay for example how to identify this let consider the complex number z equals to okay let consider the complex number z equals to square root of 1 which is nothing but 1 power 1 by 2 okay which is nothing but 1 power 1 by 2 so we can write this is as directly i am writing this as cos 2 cos 0 plus i sin 0 and cos 2k pi plus i times of sin 2k pi generalization power 1 by 2 okay by applying the demos theorem and this will be multiplied over here directly we obtain this is as if we multiply by 2 cos k pi plus i times of sine k pi okay and we know that where k equals to 0 to n minus 1 but here the n is equals to 2 okay 0 to k values has to be taken 0 to n minus 1 but k is equals to 2 n minus 1 is 1 only so the k values are 0 comma 1 so okay now what the roots will become if k is equals to 0 we obtain a one root k is equals to 0 what is the root z is equals to cos 0 plus i sin 0 okay cos 0 plus i times of sin 0 which is equals to 1 okay and if k is equals to 1 that means it has only two roots okay for the square root or square root of unity having the two roots and which is cos what is pi plus i times of sine pi so here it is equals to minus 1 so on the real axis so if we represent over here so what we obtain the real and imaginary parts of the complex numbers in organ plane okay real and imaginary parts of the complex number in organ plane one root is 1 okay and another root is minus 1 okay another root is minus 1 if we draw a circle join joining these two okay if we draw a circle joining these two okay so here on this circle whenever you consider wherever you consider the circle will have the radius as 1 the modulus of this one from here it is 1 why because from the radius 1 only the magnitude here 1 from the origin it is having the 1 length and it is having the 1 length through this radius only we are drawing the circle so so mod of z is equals to 1 so that means here the roots 1 and minus 1 are on the unit circle only okay this can be understand with a better one so if i am considering how to find out the fourth root of unity so that means it will have the four roots we can write this as 1 power 1 by 4 and we can write this is as cos 2 k pi plus i sin 
2 k pi initially we have to write it is cos 0 plus i sin 0 and the generalization is for every multiple of 360 degrees we obtain the same value then we can write this is as cos what it is k pi by 2 plus by applying the de Moivre's theorem i sin k pi by 2 i think you are understanding this so here cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n and generalize after generalizing it is applying the de Moivre's theorem cos 2 k pi by 4 is nothing but k pi by 2 plus i sin 2 k pi by 4 it is sin k pi by 2 where k is equals to now the values it takes 0 to n minus 1, 0 to 4 minus 1, that means 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, now if k is equals to 0, what the values so the root? First root is cos 0 plus i sin 0. Okay, k is equals to 0, cos 0 plus i times of sin 0. We obtain 1 is a root. If k is equals to 1, then what is another root? Cos pi by 2 plus i times of sin pi by 2 okay it is nothing but simply i and if k is equals to 2 then we obtain cos pi plus i times of sin pi so cos pi is minus 1 and if k is equals to 3 and z is equals to cos 3 pi by 2 plus i times of sin 3 pi by 2 okay so cos 3 pi by 2 it is 0 and i into sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 minus i so the fourth root of unity having the roots as 1 i minus 1 minus i now if we represent on the organ plane so okay if we represent on organ plane so where we obtain that means here it is 1 okay and here it is minus 1 on the imaginary axis it is 1 only i and it is minus i okay if we draw a circle joining all these okay if we draw a circle joining all these so on this circle wherever you consider this is the radius so with this radius you are making moving okay with this radius you are moving and this will have totally z is equals to mod z is equals to 1 only but these roots 1 plus or minus 1 and plus or minus i are lying on the unit circle so that is the concept we are discussing over here okay so the fourth one is what here what we are discussing so the roots of okay the third one the n roots of unity lies on the unit circle in this uh, lecture we discussed that nth root of unity so the nth root of unity having the n roots the roots as 1 alpha alpha square and so on alpha power n minus 1 you can represent in, so in place of parameter alpha you can represent with omega also not a problem where alpha equals to e power iota times of 2 pi by n so every root okay the roots are differ by 2 pi by n so every root is differing by 2 pi by n okay every root is differed by 2 pi by n and having the common ratio as alpha okay every root is uh, having the common ratio as alpha and the sum of the roots 1 plus alpha plus alpha square and so on alpha power n minus 1 the sum of the roots is always 0 for the nth root of unity and the product of the roots okay the product of the roots we are obtaining it is as e power i times of pi into n minus 1 and if n is odd okay if n is odd we will get the product equals to plus 1 and if n is even okay we get the product equals to minus 1 okay so next we discuss that so all the roots nth root of unity the n roots having n roots the n roots lies on the unit circle lies on unit circle okay in the next class we will discuss the another concept